Welcome to One Vendor. Today, we'll be doing a short video called Website 101. One of the questions I commonly get asked from clients is how to know if their website is any good. A lot of people signed up for a website 10, 15 years ago because they knew they needed one and haven't made any changes to it since. And now they get calls from vendors all the time, pitching them the newest, latest, and greatest in website technology. And they don't even know what questions to ask. So this video will serve as a short five minute overview on how you can know if your website is any good and what things you want to ask the next time you get a call from one of those website vendors. So the first thing we're going to do is find a random dealership website. Uh, we'll search for used cars Cincinnati and see if we can find someone on Google Maps. Let's see here. How about Cincinnati Auto Haas? That stuck out to me. Then we'll jump to their website. So here's Cincinnati Auto Haas website. Looks like a nice site. Uh, looks like it's probably cars for sale. If you scroll to the bottom, uh, we'll see yes, it is a cars for sale website. So the first thing that I like to do when I'm evaluating a website uh, is look at the performance analytics on the back end, not so much the design of the website, because design does not equal functionality. So the way we do that is we'll go to a third party tool called gtmetrics.com. Anyone can go to this site, They're, it's totally free. Type in your website and hit test. And what this is doing is this is looking at the back end analytics of your website. So how long would it take for a site to load for a new user? What metrics is Google and other search engines looking at when they're ranking your website? And this is the kind of thing that's more important than just the design or overall look of the website. In a second, we will get a score ranking for this website. Wow, fantastic score for this site, uh, an A score. Do not be discouraged if your site doesn't have an A. Uh, not overly common to see this, but this is what you're shooting for. This is how search engines are grading your site. The other really important thing we're looking for here on the bottom is fully load time. We can see this site loaded in 1.3 seconds, which is great. Uh, Google tells us that the average consumer expects a website to load in under two seconds. Uh, so you want to make sure your site is loading in less time than that. Now, the next thing I like to look for when I'm evaluating a website is, is the site adaptive for mobile? This is one of the things that search engines optimize and grade off of, uh, but also the majority of your customers are probably looking for you on mobile. So if we hit this minimize window on a home or laptop, you can see as we change the size of the screen, all the words and symbols adjust to fit into the new window. Uh, if your site covers up some of the words and nothing changes as you make the screen smaller, your site is not optimized for mobile, and that's very, very important. And the third and final thing I look for is just a quick walkthrough of the site in general. Does it make sense? Uh, so the first big red flag I notice about this website is this red bar that says House of Cheap Cash Cars. Nothing wrong with cheap cash cars. Problem is right below that, we see a brand new Lexus. Uh, I just saw a G-Wagon scroll by a second ago. Uh, I would not say that these are cheap cash cars. If we scroll down a little further, we see a vehicle preview. Uh, we see that they offer service. I don't know if this dealership does offer service, but if not, they need to get rid of that. A little about us section. Here's looking for a new vehicle. I don't think the house of cheap cash car sells new vehicles, especially new Range Rovers. Uh, if we go to a little more, just some search engine stuff here on the bottom. So not too terrible, but definitely some things to optimize on that homepage to make the messaging a little more clear for their customers. And then as I go tab by tab, I like to look at the cars for sale. Uh, it looks like we have pictures, which is great. I like to look for a few things like are the pictures facing the same direction. I'm not a big fan of these overlays, and we'll do a separate video on how those hurt your search rankings. We go to the About Us tab. It looks like they do have a picture of the dealership. Be careful that you don't have a canned About Us on your website. Uh, I can tell just from looking at this, this might be some canned information. Uh, like here, uh, it says uh, we offer great deals, uh, low mileage cars. I doubt that the home of cash cars has a bunch of low mileage cars. It doesn't match up in the messaging. If we go to the staff page, another page here, it's not really filled out. Um, this is just the information they probably use to log in. This is a really easy page to fill out. It makes your site look a lot nicer. Uh, if we come to testimonials, it uh, looks like they have a bunch of customer test testimonials, which is great, and pictures of happy customers. Love to see that. I hate when I see canned testimonials or just nothing in this testimonial section. So they have an appraisal section. Um, 
this is not a real appraisal. This is more of a lead form. I'm not a big fan of these. And once again, we'll do a separate video on how these are hurting your business. Um, but really, that's the quick run through of what I look for uh, on entry level on a website to see if it's going to be a good fit for my customers, if they need to consider upgrading. If you do have any additional questions about how to rate your website or how we can take a look at your site personally and see if we can make any improvements, I do offer website walkthroughs completely free of charge. Uh, my cell phone number is up here, and you can also visit my website, novendors.com. I'd be more than happy to set up a consultation to give a walk through your website, see if we can make any optimizations and help you get those changes made to help improve your business. Thanks for watching.